Hi, I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question on integration. We need to integrate 1 over 1 plus e to the power of x dx. Now here we can do a substitution for the denominator but there's nothing in the numerator. Think as if it is 1. It is a very special question and it requires further few techniques to really simplify. To, so I like you to have full attention while we solve this question. So let us substitute denominator as u. So u is equals to 1 plus e to the power of x and from here we can actually write what du is. So we can write du is e to the power of x dx, right? So what should be dx? So dx will be 1 over e to the power of x du that is going to be dx for us. So we should write everything in u. So ex I can say is u minus 1. Correct? So I could write in this case dx as 1 over u minus 1 du. Correct? So I hope this substitution is clear. We'll use this substitution and rewrite this particular function. Right? So, so what we have here is integral of 1 over 1 plus e to the power of x dx, right? Now we'll write this as, this portion 1 over 1 plus e to the power of x could be written as 1 over u. So we have 1 over u and dx is 1 over u minus 1 du, okay? That is what it is. But strictly speaking, it doesn't really help us much. Now the thing is that this kind of uh, product in the denominator, we can actually write this as sum of two rational functions, right? So now we'll show you the technique of doing so. So this could be written as, let us say a over u plus b over u minus one. So we can have a common denominator, which will be u times u minus one. So when you multiply, you get a times u minus 1 minus bu, right? Or we get au minus a minus bu over u times u minus 1, right? What we need if you compare with this, denominators are same, but the numerator should be 1. So we do not need this term. So a and b are kind of conjugates, right? Plus we need this as positive, so, so a has to be minus 1 since we need plus 1 here and if a is minus 1, b has to be plus 1, right? So that helps to figure this out. So once we have figured this out, we could write this as integral of, so a over u and a is minus 1, so we'll minus 1 over u, b is plus 1, so it is plus 1 over u minus 1 du. Okay? So that is how we get our function. Now we can actually integrate it, right? So so we could rearrange this also, writing this first. Anyway, so that gives you ln, right? So it is ln negative of absolute value of u plus uh, ln of u minus 1. Okay? So that is what you can get. So this is ln something divided by u. Now, ln u is 1 plus e to the power of x and this is e to the power of x, correct? So I can replace this. ln u, I can write this as minus ln and that gives me 1 plus e to the power of x. And here, of course, a constant. And ln u minus 1 is e to the power of x. So you get plus ln e to the power of x plus c. Now ln e to the power of x will be just 1, right? So so this is reciprocal. So we can write rearrange kind of, right? So let me write this first. We get x minus ln 1 plus e to the power of x plus c as our answer, right? So that is the answer which we get for this particular question, right? Um, I hope 
you understand the method we have used two techniques in this particular case one we have done the substitution and second we have done partial factoring so combination of these help us to solve such questions Amal Kumar you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you and all the best